Hey everybody, I'm Richard Krause, and welcome to Booze and Reviews. Today, I'm going to have a drink and a think about Spiral from the Book of Saw. Now, just when you thought it was safe to go back to the theater, along comes the ninth installment of the Saw franchise. This time, with Chris Rock and some new inventive ways of killing people. He could be anywhere. He could be anyone. Chris Rock plays Zeke Banks, an idealistic but disillusioned big city detective trying to get out from under the shadow of his father, Marcus, played by Samuel L. Jackson. When Zeke and his partner, an eager rookie named William Schenck, played by Max Minghella, catch an unusual, grisly case, the game is afoot. And I mean that literally. A new serial killer, playing from the same game book as the notorious villain Jigsaw, who put his victims through deadly scenarios that he referred to as games or tests, if you remember from the Saw movies, is terrorizing the city's dirty cops, seemingly looking to avenge wrongs perpetrated by the South Metro Police Department. Jigsaw copycat. That could be difficult. As the bodies pile up, Zeke suspects that the killer isn't just playing around, that he has another motive, something a whole lot more personal. Hello, Detective Banks. I'm here to help reform the Metro Police, to remind them of their oath to the people of this city. One officer from your station refused to be reformed. He will not be the last to play my game. If that spiral is what I think it is, Jigsaw? Wait, I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. Yeah, but if it's another copycat... Okay, what to drink while having a think about Spiral? You want something that'll put you in the mood for some really grisly, gory action, so I chose a drink called A Bloody Mess. There's a few cocktails online with the same name, but this one seemed perfect for today. It's basically a homemade Bloody Mary with tequila and a few other, and I gotta say this, surprising ingredients. We start making the bloody mess with our cocktail shaker, and I've chosen a very cool shot glass for this uh, particular drink. We're gonna take some tequila. I'm using two ounces of Astral tequila. Uh, it's smooth, it's delicious, it's really gonna light this drink up a little bit. Uh, from there on, it gets a little weird. So, do you know what Posada is? It is uh, strained tomatoes, ground up, uh, it's delicious typically found in pasta sauces. Uh, this one though is gonna be the base for our kind of sort of Bloody Mary. So it's a teaspoon and, or a tablespoon and a half. So there's one, and I'm gonna put another little heaping mix of that in there. Um, and then from there, we're gonna take a little bit of lemon juice and just like a, maybe a third of an ounce of that. Uh, a couple of squeezes of lime juice just to add to the acidity that you want in a drink like this and kind of cut through the posada. And then we've got a couple of ingredients that seem a little bit more typical to a Bloody Mary. Tabasco sauce, a couple of dashes to that to your flavor, and then of course the old Leah and Perrin. So we'll give that um, just a couple of shots of that. This. I mean, the Passat is kind of weird enough, but this is a weird movie, so it makes perfect sense. But this is where it starts to get kind of extra weird. We're taking some grenadine, and we're just gonna do a little dollop of grenadine in there. And that'll give us some sweetness, uh, hopefully not too much sweetness. Then, yeah, give it a shake. We'll pour it into the glass, and look at that, ooh. I know it's called a bloody mess, but this does not look like a mess to me. That is delicious. That's the cocktail, but what do we do now to make it feel like just a little bit more theme appropriate to the movie Spiral? This is what we're gonna do. Take a paring knife, take a lemon. Cut the ends off the lemon, and then, using your knife and carefully, cut around the inside. So essentially, you've just cored this. And you're gonna have kind of a thick piece of, of uh, lemon here, lemon rind, but that's okay because we're gonna do something cool with it. You take that, you give it a little bit of a twist like that or shape it into a spiral, throw it on the side of the drink, you get a beautiful garnish for a beautiful cocktail. Mmm. That's good. So it's kind of weird. 
but the posada is diluted enough by the tequila and by the spices and on the lemon and lime and all that other stuff. The grenadine was the thing I was a little bit concerned about, but it really does kind of cut through the uh, spices, sweetens it up, and it gives you this really kind of cool uh, mix of sweet and spicy at the same time. We've got our little spiral garnish. It's perfect to have a drink and a think about spiral. Let's get to the main event. Jigsaw? Wait, I thought the Jigsaw Killer was dead. He is. Well, I've got my drink, but what did I think about Spyro? Well, after eight installments of the Saw franchise, countless deadly traps and one iconic baddie, Spyro finds a new-ish way to tell an old story with just enough of the nasty stuff and deadly game playing to keep fans satisfied. It's a horror film, but director Darren Lynn Bowsman structures it like a thriller, even if his reliance on flashbacks and exposition mutes some of the thrills. The spiral logo that gives the movie its name is supposed to be emblematic of change and progress, but the movie doesn't quite live up to the symbol's meaning. It shakes some of the dust off the old franchise without really reinventing it. That's why I gave Spiral, now playing in theaters, three out of five cocktails. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.